I probably would be dead now without the Institute. It would have grown back. It's quite scary to think. Without Proton, you won't be here. here. May 2013, woke up one morning with constant double vision. He had surgery the 30th of May that year and then we found out on the 14th of July that year that we were going to be flying off to the United States of America to have the proton treatment, which was ironically the day after I actually gave birth. Even the first day we turned up for a little tour that we did first of all, it was a case of, yes, Mark's the patient, but he's got his wife and this tiny, tiny baby. I mean, at the time she was five and a half weeks old when we actually landed. And it wasn't just a case of looking after Mark, it was even on a day-to-day -day basis, he was asking how I was coping, how baby was coping. It was having, like having a family away from home. I, it doesn't feel like you're patient. It's strange in a way, isn't it? It's... Yeah, it, it feels more like a hotel. Yeah, it does. <laughs> that go... sounds silly, but it does. You go in, you have half an hour, 45 minutes of being out of radiation, and you're back to it, and there's no side effects as such. Yeah. Every supports you, everybody's there to help you any way they can, and it's a whole amazing experience.